we are obliged to ask whether or not at this point in time either the accused himself or you on his behalf wish to indicate whether he is guilty or not guilty. Stade. À ce stade, notre client plaide non coupable, Monsieur le Président. Mr. President, Your Honours, the prosecution will present evidence proving beyond any reasonable doubt that Thomas Lubanga Dillo committed crimes under the Rome Statute. He committed some of the most serious crimes of concern for the international community, crimes against children. The children still suffer the consequences of Lubanga crimes. They cannot forget what they suffer, what they saw, what they did. They were nine, 11, 13 years old. They cannot forget the beating they suffer. They cannot forget the terror they felt and the terror they inflicted. They cannot forget the sounds of their machine guns that, that they kill. They cannot forget that they rape and that they were raped. Some of them are now using drugs to survive. Some of them became prostitutes. And some of them are orphan and jobless. The prosecution will now address the existence of an armed conflict in Italy between September of 2002 and August of 2003. The armed conflict in Italy is connected with the 1994 genocide in Rwanda and the two Congo wars. All of them are rooted in history and colonization. Common plan existed between Thomas Lubanga Dilo, Bosco Taganda, and other co-perpetrators. The goal was to maintain and expand political and military control over the Ituri region. The plan's implementation included the enlistment, conscription, and use of children under the age of 15 to actively participate in hostilities. The evidence will show, Your Honors, the critical role of Lubanga himself in pursuing the common goal and in controlling its execution, in particular in the recruitment and the use of child soldiers. The evidence will show that he organized recruitment campaigns and he sent emissaries to Bunya and surrounding areas to persuade or compel the Hema families to send their children to join his group. Documentary evidence that we will tender will show that in December 2002, peace committees from the Ituri area liaised with Lubanga's group to campaign amongst youngsters for massive integration into its militia. The prosecution will tender documents, Your Honors, showing that Lubanga himself publicly decreed that each Hema family must support his military efforts by providing a child. A witness will explain that Lubanga gave an order to recruit, I quote, everyone they could find. In the sentencing phase, should the chamber find that the charges are proved, the prosecution will analyze the individual circumstance of the accused. 
However, I want to put the defense on notice that the prosecution anticipates to call for a severe punishment, very severe, close to the maximum. The children still suffer the consequences of Lubanga crimes. They cannot forget what they suffer. When, a statement to our investigators. I fled together with my family. We were with a lot of people, and then I got separated from my family, and everybody was running away. Then some soldiers came out of the forest, and they stopped us on the road. That the most opportunistic methods to build his power, recruiting children. Recruiting children as soldiers, shifting alliances whenever necessary, trying to play with the international community. He pretended that he was loyal to the rassemblement. Finally, can I remind everyone about speed of others from their team? Fire is to prove that they were under 15. As a result of the conflict, most of them, once the training had ended, the child soldiers were issued a uniform and a weapon of their own. They were ready to participate in military operations or to become bodyguards of senior officials or be employed in any other military duty that was deemed fit. The children's testimony and other evidence will... It was just the commander who kept pushing us forward, pushing us to go on and fight. A child soldier explained, you did not really, and then pillage what they had. So taking, taking their food and clothes. As soon as they arrived at the camps, the commanders informed them that if they, did not, if they did not pillage, they would not eat properly. Militia abducted him as he was walking home from school with his friends. Another boy will tell you how he was abducted using his uniform, and all around him are the soldiers. This is Bosco Nataganda in purple. You see behind him, there is no house. The camp is isolated from the village. You start to see so These two are girls. These two are under 15. The prosecutor will prove that. And see, this, is the, this now is the bar. Start to see the others. Start to see who are under 15. These ones. This one, way under 15, way below. This one, this one, this one. We have like this, because it's, it's behind. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, this one. We highlight this other because it's, it's so small you cannot see him. Here is Tomás Lubanga leaving the meeting. This is a car with some bodyguards, but then after the car, this truck is coming. You see the meaning of bodyguard? It, there are bodyguards in the, in the war zone. That's why it's a military operation. But important also to see the weapons, the number of people in the truck, but I like if you pay attention. We, not, we did in slow motion this visual aid. Then you can pay attention to the two kids in the back. At least these two are manifestly under 15 years old. <laughs>